Good evening to everybody out there on Facebook and YouTube. JDev has returned tonight with a video insight. Tonight's insights and expert analysis will be on the TV series, The Big Bang Theory, giving my top 10 favorite characters on The Big Bang Theory of all time. Also, I will be giving my least favorite character on Big Bang Theory. I don't really like, or I don't really hate a lot of characters on that show, so I don't need to do a whole list. I just need to include one, maybe two people. So, just before I go into details, this is my list, so if you have your own opinion, certainly, you know, write a comment expressing your opinions and what your list is, and uh, also, if you're not caught up with Big Bang Theory up to this point, you might not watch this video just in case something does get spoiler, spoiled, and there could be some spoilers, so just want to give you guys a heads up, you've been warned. All right, so, to start things off, my least favorite character on Big Bang Theory, not many of you know this, but here it is, Priya Kutherpali, yes, Roger's sister, from the earlier season, hated Priya, uh, thought Priya was just an annoying bitch, although the shit that she did with critiquing Sheldon's roommate agreement was hilarious. But other than that, Priya coming in at number one on my least favorite character on Big Bang Theory, and if I had to give a number two, I would give it to Leslie Winkle, the one chick that Leonard hooked up with a couple different times that doesn't like Sheldon, just because she's kind of a bitch, but she's funny too. So she would come in at number two if I made it number two. But she's cool enough where I didn't have to put her on the list. But Priya, don't want to see her on the show again. I hope she never comes back. All right, getting into my top ten favorite characters on Big Bang Theory. Coming in at number ten, we have Will Wheaton. Yes, Will Wheaton from Star Trek is a, a regular on Big Bang Theory, although he's only in a couple episodes a season. But he plays a great role as Sheldon's nemesis slash friend, depending on what what's going on in the world. Uh, but he, he's just funny. He gets into these, you know, special events and whatnot, and then Sheldon has to go, why is Will Wheaton getting these uh, things? So Will Wheaton, great character. He comes in at number 10. Coming in at number 9, we have Barry Kripke. That's right, Koopa. I'm coming in at number 10, Sheldon Koopa. <laughs> Barry Kripke is just hilarious. He's a good character with his, uh, obviously he has some issues, but Somehow, some way, he always more mainly gets the better of Sheldon. He always is one up on him for some reason. It seems like it, but I have a feeling Sheldon's a million times smarter than Barry Kripke. But Kripke's, Kripke is funny, and his uh, his speech impediment is just hilarious. Uh, and they don't bring him in a lot. He's only in one or two episodes a season, but they're usually memorable when he shows up. So Barry Kripke coming in at number nine. Coming in at number eight, we have Stewart. Yes, the guy that owns the comic book store. He's funny, he's very cynical, and obviously he's very lonely. It would be nice to see Stuart uh, given, you know, be hooked up with somebody on the show, uh, just to give him more of a story arc on the show, because uh, I don't want to see him alone all the time and depressed, because it seems like he's really depressed. I mean, he's always there for Howard and Bernadette, but, I mean, it's time for Stuart to have some fun of his own. Get Stuart a girl, have him be a little bit less creepy. That might be one thing that be, might be stopping that, but Stuart's a good character. And he deserves more time on the show than he gets. He's only in a couple scenes here and there. So, Stuart coming in at number eight. Coming in at number seven, we have Bernadette. Yes, Bernadette. Now, she was higher in the list at one point in time, but she is a little annoying at times, especially with these pregnancy angles. Spoiler alert. Uh, like Bernadette, I like her impersonation of Howard's mom. Rest in peace, Howard's mom. Howard! <laughs> She's uh, pretty funny. She's really short, but really uh, annoying. But she's, she's good for uh, Howard, although it's kind of funny that Howard Wallowitz would end up with a, a girl like her that's a little out of the realm of, person, uh, realm of possibilities. But that's a TV show, so I'll give it to you. But Howard's definitely dating out of his league, as most people on the Great Theory are. But Bernadette certainly deserving of a top ten spot, and that's why she comes in at number seven. Coming in at number six on my all-time favorite Big Bang, Big Bang Theory characters, a character that's moved up the list a little bit. That would be Amy Farrah Fowler, soon to be Amy Cooper, I think. Amy is is good for Sheldon, although I think she dumbed Sheldon down a little bit, but she's just funny. Uh, her her obsession with Penny is just great. It's it's nice to see the banter back and forth between them two, and of course her relationship with Sheldon. Hey, she gets coitus on her birthday. That's always a good thing, but certainly Amy is deserving of of a spot on this top ten list, and that's why she comes in at number six. Coming in at number five, we have Raj, Rajesh Kuthar Pali. Yes, Raj, who was lower on this list at one point in time, but he's gotten so likable that I had to move him up a few slots. Uh, one of the originals on the show, 
Uh, I would I will say this that it would be nice if Raja or Raj would be given somebody to actually be with permanently uh, in what might be the final season next year of Big Bang Theory because he's always you know he had that relationship with that uh, that dark that black that black hair chick and that didn't last and I thought that was a perfect chick for him because she was really weird and you know Raj is weird sometimes too especially with Cinnamon uh, but certainly Raj is deserving of somebody to be with. And I hope they focus more on him and give him somebody in what might be the final season of Big Bang Theory. That has not been confirmed yet, though. So Raj coming in at number five. Coming in at number four, we have Howard Wallowitz. Yes, Wallowitz, the guy that dates out of his league, that's for sure. Uh, Wallowitz is a very funny character. Uh, he was lower on the list, but he's, he's hilarious. His impersonations of celebrities on the show are just brilliant. I love it when he gets a lot of time to, uh, you know, go over his humor. Um, he's he's great. Phil's relationship with all of his friends is great. And Bernadette, you know, it's lucky for him. Of course, it's a sitcom, so he is able to date out of his league on a sitcom. But I like Howard, and he worked for NASA. And he's an astronaut, so you got to give it to him. So Howard Wallowitz coming in at number four. Coming in at number three on my all-time top ten favorite Big Bang Theory characters, we have the one, the only, Leonard Hofstetter. Yes, Leonard. Another guy that dates way out of his league, but it's a TV show. Leonard's funny. He keeps the show moving. He's the glue that holds the show together, as some people say. He's funny. He's kind of a baby sometimes, but it's, it's hilarious. And to put up with Sheldon and all his annex and roommate agreements and Penny's uh, materialistic lifestyle, it's Leonard is a good character, and I hope he stays a good character and lives happily ever after at the end of the series, whatever that might be, which I'm thinking will be next season, possibly. But Leonard certainly an awesome character, and he comes in at number three. And now we get to the top two people. This was a very hard list to finish, because the top two people I absolutely love on the show. Uh, they're the reasons why I watch the show. All the other characters are good characters, but these two especially are the best characters. You know who they are already. Uh, it's obvious the two people that are left, but I had to rank them, and uh, I'm, this is how I'm going to do it. So coming in at number two, we have Penny. Yes, Penny, the person that I started watching Big Bang Theory for, because I'm like, who is that hot blonde on this show? Penny is awesome. She's just beautiful. Uh, she's dating way out of her league. She could do a lot better than Leonard, like me. So Kaylee Cuoco, hit me up. <laughs> uh, great character, and uh, I really like Penny, and I hope her and Leonard live happily, happily ever after, although I'm not sure if that's going to be the case. I have some doubt, some doubt when it comes to their relationship in the final seasons, if next year would be the potential final season. But certainly Penny, deserving of the number two spot. And, of course... My favorite character on Big Bang Theory, Sheldon, 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 Bazinga, Sheldon Cooper, or Dr. Sheldon Cooper. I mean, where do I start with all the knocking, all the Bazingas, all the, that's my spot, all the, I don't like birds, Sheldon is just hilarious. I, I don't think there's any other character on TV that's as cool as him. And I even like the Young Sheldon series. Uh, Jim Parsons does a phenomenal role playing Sheldon. And uh, I, I know he didn't like coitus before, but I'm glad he's getting some and having some coitus every once in a while because sexual frustration can lead to, to major issues down the road. So that's good that he's exercising his uh, you-know-what. But Sheldon, great character with all his quirkiness. And the roommate agreement, the greatest thing ever. Um, yeah, he's he's great. So that's why Big Bang Theory is great. There really are no bad characters aside from Priya. Uh, I, I wish the show would keep going and going, but I don't want the show to get stale. And I do have a feeling that the final season will be next season. So that's the list. My top ten favorite Big Bang Theory characters. Let's hear what your lists are. Make your own list. Let me know in the comments. And uh, I hope you like this video. This was a viewer requested video by Alex. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good night, everybody, and I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.